Okay, I'm gonna turn the recording software on. Excuse me. Not just to sell this particular car, but someone said they had the General Lee at one of the Los Santos customs. Oh, I guess it's not here. Whoa! Seriously? That is cool. So of course, of course. Very nice, very nice. Of course, that that is, is that's a duke. Is it a duke? That's what they call it. No, I might be getting the name of the car wrong. It's even got the plate. All, all we know, that's, that is, that's really, uh, that's just beautiful. Theoretically, I could get one of these if I decide to merge my, uh, my Xbox 360 game into this one. Of course, that would annihilate a lot of stuff, and I don't know what it would ha effect it would have on the online game. So, we just got to appreciate this one. That's just... Wow. <laughs> Very nice. Nice effect. That was nice. Interestingly enough, you can get the flags if I forget. Like three dozen different countries on there. You cannot get the rebel flag. They not even not even GTA was going to go there. Supercharged an impotente. What the heck? It's got to be a duke. I think it's an impotente duke because the iron duke is the heavily armed one. Thank you for that, good sir. Very nice, very nice. Alrighty then, I've gotten a few interesting comments on my last couple of videos about the RE7B. Some people think that it may not be as fast as the X80 anymore, really. Others think perhaps we should be looking to the 811. Well, we're going to determine this on the Sonora Freeway, of course. It has an 84% rating. Yes, I'm sure we want to start this job. Now, my statement that it is still the fastest is based on the work of the amazing, really, really the standard bearer for the field, the Brophy. 1322, and Brophy tests his cars very thoroughly on a uh, on a very tight, very technical track. Let us say, let's turn off the traffic here. Let's say you think, well, no, I'm more concerned about the open road. Well, the Sonora Freeway might give you what you're looking for here. Now, I'm going to use stock cars here. I'm not going to use any any customs. Yeah, I'm not going to use any of these. Isn't it pretty? Since it's here. We may as well start with the 811. Let's do that. Now, I've raced the 811 before. And I've been killed in it. It does apparently have one of the highest, if not the highest, top speeds in the game. But, handling-wise, perhaps not quite there with the other cars. So that's that's the trade-off you get with this car, supposedly, or supposedly. Remember which one of those it's supposed to be, but we're gonna open this sucker up. We're gonna see how we can do here. What kind of time we can pull down? I know I've pulled down a 157 with the new RE7B, but we're gonna do it again anyway. 
We're going to do science here. That way we're comparing the cars when I'm in this condition of driving here. I'm, you know, my skills are all about even. I imagine you could argue that after one or two races, they'll be more warmed up or something like that. Who knows, maybe on the Sonora Freeway, the 811 will prove its top speed value. Now, I like the 811 because it's based on the, uh, the 918, essentially. A car that was very nicely uh, reviewed by Top Gear's Richard Hammond. Hammond! But it's... Uh, I, I have a feeling that that, the, the real world car... Whoa! Okay, this, this, that didn't work out well. Okay, brakes. Brakes not perhaps the strongest suit there. We'll take another run with this in a little bit once we're warmed up, I suppose. But let's let's mark this down because that that you know this is still a real world kind of value thing here. Yeah, you really gotta get whoa down there to make the turn. And up and around. Because my impression was that the 918 is a much better handling car as far as being competitive with the world, but I don't know. That, remember, they have to they have to try and make things realistic, but they also have to worry about game balance. Okay, 206, though. I mean, that's that's quick, but not. No, it's you know, if I could handle that one turn, let's try it again. Take two. I'm just staring because that's still broken. We're going to change the time of day to noon. Make sure it's clear. We don't have to do this in the rain. Now, just to get down with my inner Richard Hammond, we're going to change it to silver, just like it was in that episode of Top Gear. It was a shinier silver in the Top Gear, as I recall. But this is close. Let's see what we can do here. Turbo jump this sucker up into the gears. It does feel fast. I don't know that it feels quick, but it feels fast. I, I, know, I don't know if you know what I mean, but as far as the nimbleness, whether it has that... I, I feel like I really have to slow it down for these turns. It's pushing. It, it tends to push. And pushing's not the fast way through the curve. It's the fast way into the bushes. Well, this is two runs now with it that I don't feel like I can... Re I, have to be I feel like I have to be careful. I have to... I have to really think my way through this. I mean, the car's got a lot going for it. The looks of it, the, you know, the way the exhaust comes out, just like it does on the... or at least close to what it does on the AT. Now, we're going to break right where the tarmac changes. All right, that was a little better. So we could probably write that off to operator error on my part. Operator error... Hello, operator. We'll forgive you for your error. I always try to hit at that sign, too, and then... All right, so we're through those turns. Pretty clean. Okay, we probably pick up a couple of tenths. Maybe a second if we can handle those turns a little better. Probably. If Brophy were here, he'd tell you exactly how much time I lost on those turns with my awful lines and all that, but... Okay, we're still only pulling down a 202. So I think, top speed-wise, it may be the fastest, but, you know, that's still two seconds slower than my maxed down entity. Realize this is a stock car. But it's still significantly slower. Let's see, let's see, maybe it's my is off tonight. We haven't done science yet. Let's like replay. Q 
Okay, time of day. We're going to definitely want the noon time. We want to clear. We want to traffic off. We want to play. Please let me play. Okay, now we want the X80. What color should we make this? Looks good. Pink's a little hard to look at. We want it to be visible. All right, let's go back to race yellow. A race yellow X80. Let you see all the details in that beautiful body. Look at the suspension and the nose. And we're off. And then again, if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know that already. Winding this puppy up. Another turn. Through another turn. That definitely seems like it handles a little bit better than the 811. But one thing I don't like about the X80 in an actual race is that it's extremely light. Now you think in racing. In real life racing, light is the way to go. That is, that's the lotus formula for victory. In this sort of racing, though, where people try to smash into you as much as possible and kill you, having a car that doesn't respond as much to bumps from other cars or even bumps in the road is a big deal. I'm even going to try and late brake this a little bit. Yeah, it definitely has some good braking going on there. Take this around this curve. You take it. Oh, see that? You hit a little bit of a bump. Now you might be able to mitigate that with off-road tires. Thanks again, Mr. Barovi. All right, hammer down. Let's see how this thing does. We're wide open here. Another 202. Now that's interesting. So maybe it's just a matter of my skill today, my driving style today. The, the fact that I'm picking stock cars. They don't own either of those cars, and I don't really plan to. I already own an Entity and an RE7B. That's enough supercars for today, really, you know. Uh, save some room for, you know, if they come up with something even better. Time of day, again, the noon. The weather, the clear. The traffic, the off. And let's try the, the standard bearer now. The RE7B. Race yellow, let's see. Yeah, bronze, race. yeah, let's go race yellow. Let's do that. With the Estancia livery. Not a bad look. Now, this is the car that everyone says is the fastest. Let us see. Again, its stock is not modified. It doesn't have the custom wing. Opening this sucker up. I'm giving you the whole race simply because you can say, well, you made this mistake here, you made that mistake there, therefore my car would have won. As you can see, this really has a tremendous amount of grip. Okay, I was able to take those corners just about flat out. 
I, that had so much grip that I actually went off the road to the inside. I thought it'd slide a little bit flat out. I tried, I took that curve a little conservatively to try to be fair to the other cars here. I think I could have pushed that through. If I even taken a little bit wider line on that, probably could have done better. And now we're going to open this sucker right back up. You can have tried to, to basically use the same techniques and the same lines with the cars. Nothing too tricky for the rest of this race. And it's a second faster. Or so. So, I mean, the RE7B even in my current state of perhaps not the sharpest driving. Not the best lines I've thrown down the track, but consistently is the fastest of those three. Leave a comment in the description if there's another car you'd like me to try out here on the Sonora Freeway or on a different track altogether. But I would also encourage you to try these cars yourself. See which one is fastest for you. Take advantage of the fact that you could drive pretty much any car in the game in one of these races and see which one works for your style. For somebody, it might be the 811. For another, it's the RE7B. The X80 Proto has its adherence. And on that note, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night.